good afternoon. I've been asked by the Bully, Ansel and Cunningham family to read a statement on their behalf. The last few months have been extremely tough to process for our family. The emotional impact will stay long in our hearts and whilst we will never forget the loss of our Nikki, we will forever remember her as a brilliant mum, partner, daughter and sister that we all knew and loved so very much. The help and support we have received over these past few months has meant more than words can say. From family and friends to complete strangers across the country and the world, thank you. Nikki and Paul's girls have already taken great comfort in the deeply thoughtful gifts sent to them in goodwill and in time they will read the many cards which are filled with such kindness and love. Sadly, we feel the need to again raise and address the issue of social media. It's upsetting that we've continued to receive negative targeted messages and still wildly inaccurate speculation being shared on numerous platforms. We encourage people to look at the facts the evidence which is being heard during the inquest and the conclusion reached by the coroner to ignore any amateur views and opinions and be mindful of the, of the impact words bring. We want to formally say thank you for the support and compassion showed by Lancashire Constabulary, His Majesty's Coroner, Dr Aidley, his team, Sophie Cartwright KC of Dean's Court Chambers, and Terry Wilcox of Hudson Solicitors. We now need to be allowed time to comprehend all of the events leading up to this day. We ask that you all respect our privacy and this time to let us rebuild and take time to heal. Thank you. I want to start by saying that first and foremost, my thoughts today are with Nikki's family and loved ones. They have been through the most unimaginable ordeal over the last six months. And I can only hope that this inquest in some way will help by answering some of the questions that they, are, they had about what happened to Nikki on the January the 27th and will allow them to start the process of rebuilding their lives as best they can. I would like to thank Dr. Aidley for his careful consideration of the evidence presented at this inquest as well as legal counsel and all of the witnesses for their participation. I hope that His Majesty's Coroner's clear and definitive findings will put an end to ill-informed speculation and conspiracy theories which have been so damaging to Nikki's family and the community of St Michael's. I would like to finish by bringing this back to Nikki. She was clearly a much-loved mum, partner, daughter, sister and friend and I would once again like to express my deepest sympathy to all her loved ones and I would ask that their privacy is respected at this time to allow them the time and space to rebuild and to heal. Thank you.